that this the election does not meet SADA guidelines. It is a sham election that does not reflect the will of the people. Firstly, there is the issue of the voters' role. I am sure you are aware that uh, the voters' role was only available in hard copy, which is difficult to verify and analyze two days ago, in fact, yesterday. We are very much aware of the various manipulations that have taken place. We are aware of the role of the traditional leaders in this election, unauthorized voter migration, especially voters passed into constituencies on the periphery of Harare, Mount Pleasant, Harare, Hatfield North, Harare South, Epworth. The second issue is the failure, ah, the abuse of facility use of voter registration slips as a proof of registration, militarization of the electoral process, lack of transparency in the printing of ballot box, uh, ballots, uh, non-compliance section 51 of the Electoral Act, over printing of ballots more than 35% and lack of accountability for the ballots. And, and of course the abuse of the postal voting system. In other words, uh, it is our view that this election is null and void, does not meet SADC AU international standards for a credible, legitimate, free and fair election. For those, that, for those MDCT MPs who are said to have won, this is not the moment to celebrate. This is the moment to be sad. Let me also say that some of us, we believed that in, some of, in spite of some of the hurdles that we have had to overcome, that this election will resolve the political crisis, the political and the economic crisis the country is facing. Once again, Zimbabweans have been shortchanged and they will have to bear the economic, political and social consequences uh, undertaken by Mugabe and Zanubia. Uh, for us, we want to assure every Zimbabwean that this is the beginning of the end. Uh, ZANU-PF may have this pyrrhic victory as they would like to claim, but I want to assure you that uh, the resolution of the Zimbabwean crisis has never been so near. Because we know at the end of the day, Mugabe or ZANU-PF are not going to put food on the table. We also know that uh, the country facing this myriad of problems cannot be resolved by these shenanigans. So thank you very much. That's our statement. I thank you.